Well, today what we're looking at is the apicoectomy surgery. Uh, this is on uh, tooth number 12. And apicoectomy surgery is, of course, done when there is a lesion, uh, not necessarily a root canal failure, but when there's a collateral or residual infection around the tip of the root. Commonly thought to be uh, remaining bacteria in the delta uh, canal system of the root canal. So here we're using laser technology and the laser is making the uh, classical semi-lunar incision in the mucosa saving the attached gingiva so we don't get exposure of the crown margin. The uh, water lays, bio lays, water lasers being used here with a straight hand piece and a T4 cutting tip. So this gives our very nice healing that is non-inflammatory healing. Uh, it reduces pain, swelling after the procedure. Here we're just going through the mucosa, making the incision, and the thing to note is that it's so bloodless. That's the major factor and advantage of a laser. Part of the reason that the endodontists are no longer doing apicoectomies, and, and actually very few uh, dentists oral surgeons are is because uh, just a difficult viewing of the field because of the bleeding. Now here we're going into the defect which shows the granulation tissue. And the granulation tissue is the reparative tissue that the body's trying to repair the site and to form new bone but it isn't just isn't going to happen here. So the granulation tissue has to be removed so that we can restart the actual uh, process of new bone formation around the tip of the root. So here we've used the laser to coagulate and and create a nice ball of tissue that's easily removed with the curette here and we can also go back in with the laser to loosen this if we need to. Again, the remarkable thing here is field of vision is very nice, it's clean, it's easy to see what we're looking for. We can identify the tissue, the bone structure, we don't have the bleeding filling the area. Now we're going to take off the tip of the root and that's where the delta system uh, of the root canal system is and this is where it's thought that the bacteria are remaining that are feeding this infected area. After removing the root tip we go in and then sterilize the area and we do that using the laser energy and this will kill the bacteria. And then we're going to do a retrofill. And the retrofill is to just seal the resectioned root tip area. And we're using MTA. And the MTA is felt to be one of the better filling materials that is biologically compatible. Now the next thing is the addition of a membrane and then actual particulate bone grafting material to ensure that we have an ossified healing in the site. So this is particular membrane is a vicro membrane. Any type can be used, uh, but it, we do want to use a resorbable. We don't want to use a non-resorbable because we don't need to re-enter this site. The resorbable membrane is placed into the envelope here under the uh, periosteum and then we're going to augment with some uh, freeze-dried demineralized bone, particulate matter, and then we're just going to suture the area. We're using a uh, 4-0 gut suture and it'll close up and again with the laser incision, uh, debridement and sterilization of the wound area, we're going to have just excellent healing and a very high success rate of the uh, apicoectomy and to save the tooth. This is uh, 
new procedure of adding the membrane and the particulate grafting. That hasn't been done in the past, and it's found that this is increasing our success rate for saving these root canal, quote, failure. So as we say, we have a laser incision, laser debridement, laser sectioning, and the healing is laser perfect.